Hey everybody, welcome back to the Legend of Zelda. Let's play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Um, on this episode, um, special extra video number four, I believe it's number four. Uh, first, we're going to be going uh, withdrawing some rupees. And today. Oh, I don't have many rupees. No, I don't want to withdraw zero rupees. What are you talking about? Let's get back here. Oh, this microphone is a little bit loose on my face today. Anyways, today we are going to be exploring the wonderful world of glitching again. Uh, except this time, whoa, camera angles. Uh, this time we're going to be doing Bomchu hovering. Bomchu hovering is extremely fun. It is used in this game to sequence break. It is also used to just get to some places a little bit easier. It is used to get places you can't normally get without them, or without a certain item. So I'm just going to load up on bombs and bomb chews because we're going to need a lot of bomb chews, and I might need a lot of bombs in case I screw up the activated glitch. So, the first thing I'm going to do is go to North Clock Town with the bunny hood, because the bunny hood is very handy for this sort of thing. La 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 la. So, just to show you what this glitch does and how to activate it, you can activate it with signposts, um, you can activate it with mailboxes, you can activate it with people, I think, if you can talk to them. But the best way to activate it is bomb. So first, in order to do the bomb chew hover, you need to activate the infinite sword glitch. So, sword is just, see that little white bit that comes out of your sword? We want that on our sword all the time. So, first thing, it takes a little bit of timing to get down. I can't do it every time, just because it's, it's just hard for me a little bit. So, first, pick up a bomb and plant it. You'll want to do that. That's the first thing. Second thing. Um, you'll want to shield poke the bomb, but after you shield poke it, you'll want to press A to pick it up. So it'll kind of look like this. Like that. So that's how to activate it, but it's not activated now because, see, my sword isn't good. If you take damage or use your sword, the glitch ends. So I don't want to take damage. So let's do that again, except this time, oops, I missed the pick it up. See what I mean? I haven't got it perfected. La 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 la. And I got it the first try. Okay, let's do this. There we go. Um, you can just do that. Again, if you do it too close, it doesn't work. So, the best way to do it is to just Z-target and run away, run away, run away. Uh, like I said, if you use your sword, um, you can't do it. Um, you can't jump up, like, here it shows it's activated. I, I ran into the ledge and now I'm stuck. I can't move off the ledge. Best way to do that, just backflip off. So again, when the glitch is activated, you can't jump off. You can step down on there, but you can't jump off anything. So that's really handy. Like I said, you can't use your sword. Um, so if you just take it out with the backflip, you see that the sword is a little bit white. And basically the sword is just slashing really fast right here. So if we hold up to the tree... Yeah. That's how fast the sword is moving. And the game just kind of can't keep track of how fast the game is... Or the sword is moving. So... Yeah, let's stop that. Um, over here, because the sword is always slashing, we can cut up these plants if we want. Again, it's like you're regularly moving the sword, so it, it doesn't go in all directions, but you can still cut up the grass quite nicely. Again, if you hold it to anything wood, or anything tree-like. Oh, that was weird. Stupid camera angles. Uh, the glitch went away, I guess. Let's get it back. Again, it takes a little bit of timing to activate it, but once you've got it activated, then you can do your infinite sword glitch. So, um, it's easier to do it off of ledges than it is to do it off of um, the ground, but we're going to be doing both. So, the first application of this glitch, and I will be showing you the best application first, because it is most used by me when I'm 
playing around this game for fun when I first start a new file. Again, if you leave an area, it also deactivates the glitch. So, let's just put it on again. And there we go. Alright, now let's go down to the West Clock Town Beach. Or West Terminal Field Beach. Herrrr. So, this sword glitch is a really good defense for these levers. They can just run into you and... Ah, la, 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 la. You can't hit me. Yeah, that's right. <gasps> arrows. Not that I really need arrows, but... Alright, so, first application of the glitch, doing it off of ledges. Like I said, you can't move off of ledges. You can't jump down, you have to backflip off. So, let's line up with the gate. So when the sword glitch is activated, you can do this. If you move back, zid target. So first off, you want to backflip. Actually, I'm going to switch my bomb to use because it's easier for me to hit the C button. So, pause menu, you can open it up, doesn't deactivate the glitch. Good stuff. Okay, so, I don't want to hit that boulder. So, first thing, jump backwards with the A button, hold out a bomb chew, then quickly shield and make it blow up, and then repeat. So it looks like this. Whoa, I missed one. Still activated? Yep. Um, when I do it off the ground, I like looking at my hands when I do it, because it's just better that way for me. Um, as you're seeing here, um, there's a little bit of lag going on. Whoa. Those spikes hurt you. Ugh. So anyway, um, I got hurt. The glitch is over. I can't do the thing anymore. So when you try and do it, it looks like this. You just kind of get punched backwards by the bomb too. So, getting back over now is the tricky part for me. Because like I said, I'm really good at doing it. I'm really good at doing the glitch off of ledges, but I'm not so great at doing it off of the ground. But... Yeah, that wasn't very good. There we go. And I'm wearing the bunny hood because it lets me run away from the bomb a little easier. That's, that's all. So, now we have to make it back over the wall. So, when you're on the ground, you have to do it twice in quick succession. Otherwise, it just won't work. So... There we go. Oh, whoops. Wasn't high enough. Let's try that again. Oops, that didn't work. So, yeah, still go. Okay. There we go. Um, if you don't do it um, quick enough, you won't get off the ground and you'll just fall back down to the ground like you were just stepping off. So, let's do this. Um, the faster you hold up your shield after the faster you pull out the bomb chew and hold up your shield after you jump, the higher you'll be up, because of course you do a backflip. You can also do this with bombs, except you just need to press R, then jump, and then press R again to block the explosion. Um, it takes a little bit longer, and it requires a little bit better timing, but it's just a way for you to do it Oops, if you run out of uh, bomb, bomb chews. Also, um, when you're up against a wall, the bomb chew will sometimes just kind of go along the wall. So yeah, I'll show that. It's better to show than to just tell. Alright, so say I wanted to get over this cliff here. So I'd, you know, quickly go up. Let's see. Oops. Missed. Let's try this again. There we go. Say you wanted to jump over. Now you know I'm really close to the wall here, so I jump. But the bomb chew just like got caught on the wall and started going off. So with th when that happens, you can use the bombs to go up the wall sort of and get over top. And I can show that, but I'm running out of bomb chews, so I should just hurry it up. Uh, 
Alright, let's try this again. Um, I think when the timer runs out, I'm gonna l lose my... Oops. Alright, well I ran out of bomb cheese. Alright, back to Clock Town. Run away! Oh. <laughs> My glitch was still activated, I forgot. Oh yeah, I guess when time time flips over it doesn't doesn't uh destroy the glitch. Alright, well, let's meet you guys outside of Great Bay and I will show you the next part of this. Hey guys, welcome to Snowhead, the beginning of Snowhead. So you don't want to go down there? You're afraid of the snowballs? Well, let's just bomb jump over there. Uh-oh. Bit of a waste of bomb shoes here, but whatever. Glitch went away. Let's fix that. La 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 la. There we go. So, while you're in the bomb chew hover, I just want to see if this works, because I never actually ran in here, but... You can't get hit by the ice. You're just kind of stuck here. So, let's use this to our advantage. Bomb chew hover. Let's do it. Uh, let's see. Get ourselves lined up a bit here. Okay. Jumping, jumping, ah, and jumped. There we go. Jumped right through the ice. Now we can enter Snowhead early. So it's like, hmm, all you need is bomb shoes. You don't need the arrows to blow up the thing anymore. Moving on. Alright, guys. Now I am back. I am in the hot spring right next to Goron City, if you were wondering. Um... This glitch I is the same as the one I just did, except different location. I give credit to dis not discovering the glitch, but for having me discover this one to uh, PD Boo. Um, and that's all I'm going to say about that. So, um, to do this one. This one is to get the powder keg certified early. So, to do it. Activate the sword glitch, infinite sword glitch. Ah, crap. Again, we have hot water here, so we're on the clock a little bit. Ah, rat. I said we're on the clock a little bit here. There we go. There we go. So, we've got that. Let's run up here. Line ourselves up with this ice a little bit. Alright, let's do it. Rat. My spring water melted. Oh, and I froze. But I'm frozen inside the block. So. Rat. The glitch came out too. Let's try that again. Except this time I'm not going to use the hot water because you guys, you guys understand, you know, you need the hot water, so. Alright. Let's try this again. I am through. So, 
Uh, if we had the hot water still, I would be able to melt this. Because I would just be able to... Whoops. I guess when I froze, my uh, glitch came undone. So, yeah. So, you'd have to redo it, I guess, before you went to go m melt it. There we go. Then you just kind of run forward into the ice and drop the hot spring water onto it. Which is just regular spring water now, so it doesn't really work. You just have to be fast about it, that's it. But, because we're cheaters here, we can just go ahead and fire the fire arrows at it. And then down here we can go get our powder cake certified. Easy way to do that. So, where are we going to next? Let's go to the East Clock Town Gate. Hello everybody and welcome to the East Clock Town Gate. Now, this next one is something that I'm going to recommend only be done at night. Because we have these blue bubbles here instead of um, instead of real bomb shoes. And doing this in the daytime is almost impossible with the real bomb shoes running around. I mean, you could use the stone mask, but then that kind of defeats the purpose of doing this glitch early. Um, can I use arrows and it still be activated? Yes, I can. Good. So, let's try this out. Oops. Putting bomb shoes on the lower one because I can activate it easier with that. <sighs> See these these things already. Whoops. Alright, not pushing the button fast enough. Let's try this again. Alright, well now I can't use my sword. Great. Anyway, uh, getting over Icana, not recommended by me, just because uh, there's other ways to do it. Like, you could seam walk it, I'm sure, but that takes a lot of practice, and I'm not about to show that because I can't seam walk at all. It's actually incredibly hard. So, uh, with the time ticking down and me having showed you the way to do uh, bomb chew hovering, um, this has been Garage Door Opener. Uh, one more application I suppose that I didn't show that I could use this is to skip most of the Woodfall Temple. Um, using this to get to the top floor of the Woodfall Temple is incredibly helpful because then you can skip most of the temple. You just kind of go from the entrance, zip right over to the other side or to the other side of the uh, top floor. Then you can get the arrows right away and you skip like at least. 60% of the temple right there. So, uh, if you're getting the fairies, not recommended, of course. But, you know, it's always nice to be able to do something like that. So, ah! Oh, nice. I was finally unjinxed. So, uh, what do I have in store for you guys next time? Well, I guess you'll just have to tune in to the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, where I'll be showing you another glitch, which so next week is probably going to be a bit of a short video because I don't have too much to show. There are only so many glitches that I actually know of and can show. So, um, this is one. I Again, thank you, PD Boo, for letting me look through your videos for um, something I didn't know using bomb chew hovering. Uh, yeah. So, um... Yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time before these real bomb you kill me. Let's try jump slashing one. Oh, that didn't work. Oh well. See you guys next time.